Welcome everyone, our next character is going to be Android 18 in Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 Galaxy Mode. Our previous one that we did was Android 17 and we were able to unlock future Gohan. So yes, he is an unlockable character in here as you can see, but just finishing off Android 17. But for right now, let's get started with her sister which is Android 18 and of course, there are other characters linked to her like Krillin and 17. But unfortunately, we cannot do every single battle, so we have to focus on just the five battles here, which leads up to the boss battle. And once we finish with the boss battle, then we can do the other battles that are hidden. But of course, we'll leave those in another video. So let's get started with Android 18 first. So let's see her super attacks right now, and we're missing one more. Okay. Now for items, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it how it is because most of these battles you don't really need items unless some certain ones but for right now let's get started with krillin so this is normal difficulty it should be pretty easy guys it's not that hard uh, except once you get to the much more harder levels or mostly the ones that are the extra battles those are going to be pretty hard uh, i kind of like that interaction but let's get started so let's defeat Krillin, or our husband right now. But yeah, unfortunately, like I said, guys, a lot of these extra battles that we can do, I would love to do them. And I'll be a little bit more faster to complete all of these characters. But unfortunately, that a lot of them do require that you get certain, and I say this, only certain amounts of items that are practical for those battles in order for us to actually get a very good rank so there we go we finished with android 18 and got s plus plus alrighty then so yeah that's pretty much it now again uh, i already talked about the perfect action bonus i think those are only particular to certain missions or certain battles so they're not for even if you get a perfect you're not gonna get a bonus out of it and we have done that before but unfortunately, no matter if we got a perfect, we do not get extra points. So there we go. We got five points right there for 18. And then we have Krillin's Feelings. Man, I, ju I just really love, I really love the art from Dragon Ball Z. It's just amazing. Just by seeing that picture out once again, like, woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> what a long time it has been. So right now, let's get started with Android 19 and Dr. Jarrell to defeat all the enemies within... 240 seconds so okay so these are the items i'm not gonna do anything particular guys just remember a lot of these items are very low end very small so they're not gonna do much of a difference but i'm just gonna boost some up so that i could destroy you know dr jero in 19 a lot more faster because sometimes the limits or just how you can get a very high rank for each of the battles are very strict or limited. So you need to defeat them as quick as possible, do a lot of damage, do a lot of combo attacks. Like It just gets very strict over time. So we're gonna try our best to keep things very quick as much as possible because like I said, the Rangus are not bad in this game how they try to make it. It's just unfortunately that no matter how much you do, even if you do the right, correct mission, sometimes they don't even give you a good rank. So we'll just see right now, because even if you do everything without ultimate attacks or super attacks, you might not get a good rank unless you do one of them. So it's very unfortunate that stuff like that has happened to me on some of the battles. So the only thing I could tell you, just do one super attack or ultimate attack you should be fine you know that's what mostly what you need to do but that's the only way you know for you to get at least a good rank so right here you just do infinite bullet and we should be good to go i don't think we hopefully it doesn't give us an s plus but yeah s plus plus so yeah it mostly has to do with time and energy bonus that are mostly important of course there's damage bonus and hit bonus but again, you do have to do like crazy amount of combos or just get enough of those items to boost your super and ultimate attacks. So there's another sync 
link or sync battle over there. So we got three points, all right. And then we have the three androids. Look at that, 17, 18, and 16. So that's really awesome to see. So yeah, the only thing that we can do is get more items, but we have to unlock battles and battles later on. So there we go, we have Vegeta next, Super Saiyan. So our health decreases and the opponent key recovers, okay. So yeah, this one you might think is hard, but it's not really, guys. It's very simple and very easy. It's just, you know, don't get hit a lot. Do as much damage as you can and just don't let the opponent hit you, of course, because you can still get hit and still get a good rank, but you want to do everything real quick. Just do what you can. If you know how to play the game already and know how to do combos and all that stuff, you should be fine. But again, you got to be careful that some of the characters do get difficult later on if you just know what you're doing, of course. So let's see how we could do with Vegeta. Ha ha ha. I per I knew he had like the, the counter attack one, but good thing it did hit me. There we go. No, I'm not going to do anything like that. Oh, good thing I blocked. What? I thought I thought it was the first one that oh wait, never mind that. And of course there is voice acting for Vegeta right here. But like I said, unfortunately that he does not have a lot of Oh no wait, does his health decreases or all oh, his health? Uh, that was for me. Never mind that. Oh he hit me. Oh never mind. Come on, he could I could have won it like how I attended to. How I want it to be with the ultimate attack, and that's yes, okay. We'll do it again. You know, we got it. We got to. We got to do it the traditional way, no matter what. Okay, there we go. That was pretty damn quick. <laughs> oh, so I could have done an ultimate attack, but yeah, I got the S++ from that little battle right there. So again, like I said, a lot of these battles are not really that hard, guys. It's just very strict on like, you got to make sure, you know, combos have a lot of health and all that stuff. So we got a new move. So that's how it has to be. Not sure that was a... I feel like everyone has a brand new move in this game. So we got four more points. And we have 18's power. Alrighty then. So yeah, uh, I think almost everyone has a new move. But right now we're going to test it out right now with Goten Trunks as well. So of course this is where they did their basically the world tournament stuff. So let's change it to... High pressure energy wave. You know what? Let's get rid of destructible disc and let's do with an attack that stops an opponent's attack and counter attacks. Okay, so basically a counter attack move, but that should be fine. But right now we're dealing with our first time, guys, right now, which is the perfect action list. So we got a total of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven perfect action lists. So we have to do them in order, or basically we have to do it one by one. Not sure what it could be, but we had to fight Golden and Trunks, so let's get started right now. So again, uh, that's the first time we're getting right now with those perfect actions. It's just a little list that we need to do before we defeat all of our characters or the opponent itself. Let's so let's see what our perfect action lists are going to be. So we have to do a smash attack four. Okay, pretty simple. There we go. Do 2000 damage, defeat the enemy with a super attack. Okay, so we need to get Goten a little bit under health. But right now we need to gain, of course, key. So right now we need to get a little bit close to him because unfortunately we can only get 
a key if we uh, punch the enemy. So there we go. The counter attack. Very nice. There we go. So we need to do a charge key blast max. That's all right. So that one's going to be pretty simple too. So, okay. That was not charge. Oh, it is. Okay. And do 10,000 damage or more. All righty then. I guess that one should not be hard. Let's see. There we go. Very nice. 12k and reduce our enemy to zero. All right. I think we did everything that we needed to do. Because, of course, already, I know for sure from most of these perfect action lists, your final one is always going to be all uh, destroy the enemy at zero health bar. Oh, I thought he was going to counterattack. Never mind. And your barrier. Oh, that, I thought I will almost uh, defeat him. Oh, the high pressure wave. Okay. So that one's a little bit more different. Oh, I think it resembles from the show of Trunks, uh, the future Trunks arc. But there we go. We got S++ because we did do the perfect actions and, of course, our time bonus. So, okay, that's pretty much it. So, again, the faster you do the battle, of course, the more points you get out of the time. But I guess you can see like what kind of order you can do with the perfect actions in order for you to get a better rank, of course. So we got our first galaxy only item, which is seal health auto loss three. Alrighty then. So we got six points for 18 and then we got costume three for 18. I'm not sure which costume is that one. I think we will check it out right now in a little bit just to show you guys. But for right now, let's check our items. So we could check that galaxy item right now. So we got to go all the way to the bottom. Galaxy mode only items. So we have negates health auto loss three. Equip this with base form, basic form, and it will be effective with all team members. So there are different values to this or three. There's also one, two, three, four, five, I think. I think five is the limit, but I think it depends what character you're gonna use it for i think i'm not sure if all of them do compare with each other but maybe there's gonna be one battle out there for us that our health is slowly decreasing and we could use this to hey do not let us lose our health over time so that's a very good item but we just have to find which battle is required for that so right now uh, just show you one more time with the perfect action list so there you go. If you want to follow how it works or you want to pause this video and you want to do it on your save file, this is what you need to do. So if you do everything in order, you should be fine. So right now, let's go to our last battle, which is cell perfect or cell second form. It's not cell's perfect form. <laughs> so cell of the fight before raging so ends. Okay. Pretty simple. I know it's very hard, a very hard difficulty, but... Again, guys, it's not really that hard. It's just, it's going to be a lot of repeat. You know, you have to repeat the battle again and again just to complete it. Now it's your turn. Join me and we will achieve perfection. Never. You'll never take me. Alrighty then, let's get started. Let's see if I could do 17, I mean 18. Oh, never mind. Okay, I kind of got the groove with that. Closely with her combo or raging soul combo it was kind of a little bit different just like 17s i thought they would share the same thing you know? damn so like he just loves to of course uh to run away or just oh no my stuff is gonna run out yeah it's gonna run out oh well yeah he started blocking or he did vanish so we could try it again Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do a Raging Soul combo. And of course, I think it will be a lot faster if we could use our Damage Regulator, which we can do our ultimate attacks on. So it's going to be a little bit more faster to finish this whole entire battle quick too. But let's see what we can do with this right now. Okay, there we go. 
We got a perfect. I'm not sure if that's going to give us a good boost. But let's see right now. Yes. Okay. An S++. Alrighty. So right now, let's go to the menu and see what we get. But since we completed with an S++, we're good to go. And we got our final battles right there that we could do right now. But let's see. Four points. All right. For 18. And we unlocked another drag bubble from the very beginning, the first star. And then we have three androids released. So there you go. And then we have another character unlocked, which is Trunk Sword. Alrighty then. Very nice. We got Trunk Sword now. I kind of like how the direction we're going with right now. But there we go. We got Trunk Sword as our next character in Raging Blast to galaxy mode so again if you don't want to you know you're getting stuck with the rank issue with this one guys just go to your items and go to defense and put on no i, well, I thought it was damage regulator okay there we go guys sorry about that uh it was right here unexpected blow super attack or ultimate attack can be used in raging so so you could use this item in order for you to help you out in order to get a good rank for you know whichever character that tells you that you have to start off with raging so so you could get a much more better rank using unexpected blow so yeah that's pretty much it guys i'm just going to show you the other battles right here so again you have to go through all the battles just to unlock the other ones but sometimes they may not unlock them unless you I guess get a very good rank for all the battles here but that's pretty much it with android 18 and i guess our next character yeah we're gonna go with trunk sword next yes we're gonna play as him next there was one character i wanted to go with next but we'll leave that in another time but yeah let's get started with trunk sword until next time so thank you for watching guys make sure to subscribe to my channel for more dragon ball raging blast 2 galaxy mode as well share it with some of your friends if they want to see the whole entire completion of this whole entire game share this video with them but as always keep on playing game flag guys see you later